The following podcast is recorded and produced by the Podcast Precinct in affiliation with the network at BICBP-radio.com. The Podcast Precinct. Consistency. Creativity. Culture. The Nostalgia Funhouse proudly dedicates all episodes in the loving memory of Connie Chirac. So, Johnny, I've, I've been hearing really great things about this Nostalgia Funhouse. It just brings back so many great memories. Andrew, uh, another reason I'm getting in line with you here is that you really vouch for this show. So, I'm just going to believe you that this is the show that you know I've been wanting, which is just talking about all the fun stuff from our uh, yesteryear and years before. Uh, and I really hate anything meta, so I'm glad that what we're doing right now is not that. Oh, no, definitely. What is meta? Is, isn't that Ron Artessa's new name? <laughs> well, add world and peace to it, sure. <laughs> yeah, but this is, this is great. They Like, last year they were, like, tearing play sets and Halloween costumes. And well, they, that sounds cool. They get, like, these weird court recordings from, like, pop culture courts. Does anybody care about court cases? Uh, these ones are kind of cool. They put hmm. Scott Kelvin on trial for Santa Claus there. But, oh wow! Yeah. Okay, you're. That sounds interesting. Yeah, man. You know what's the best part about this is though? Is I hear they always got a really great sponsor. You can check it out right there. We got you now, Shredhead. The turtles have Shredder pinned down and are rolling their pizza thrower into position. I'll blast you with retro mutagen. But before he can act, the pizza thrower's adjustable aim and motorized firing action give Shredder and his henchmen their just desserts. You clogged my gun with anchovies. The turtles and their portable pizza thrower triumph again. Why are we so happy? We just lost our lunch. From Playmates. Cowabunga! Welcome to the Nostalgia Funhouse. We're your heroes in a podcast. Uh, I'm Johnny. He's a- good. Oh, I just made that up off the top of my head. Very proud that I just literally that would be make a great title for a Ninja Turtle podcast. Oh, it would. I had that idea because obviously I've always wanted to do a Ninja Tur- Turtle podcast. Uh, my idea was calling it a little too raft. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah, from the second movie. My favorite line in that second movie. Uh, but he's Andrew. I'm Johnny. We're very, well, I know I'm very excited for today's topic. I'm a big Turtles fan. Did I? Oh, yeah. oh, I did that last week where I bought the Playmates comic Turtles. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, very excited for this. Uh, real quick before we get into it, though. I will. This is a non-spoiler review of the very first episode. It's all I've seen. Of X Men ninety seven, uh, thumbs up for me. Thumbs Did they up. release them all? No, just the first two. Okay, because I got to do that today. I got a lot of stuff to do. And they're about a half hour each, I think, a little over a half hour each. Okay, well, I got laundry, so that helps. Yeah, yeah, we got a certainly. lot of things to do other than podcasting. You know, do laundry, watch X Men ninety seven, the yeah. bat match. And finish up uh, Jim Cornette's drive through Oh, yeah, yeah. I got I got a lot to do today, too, including that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we have the same yeah. schedule. And that's why yeah. we podcast together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we get on the same schedule. Uh, but today, Andrew, we're doing something very exciting. I know we are. Because I like to tell the people why you are also so excited. Because I knew Johnny was excited for this. Because normally every Monday or Tuesday, I have to message him, hey, we're doing this. We we record on Wednesdays. We are doing this. This is our topic. And normally Johnny's like, oh, okay. Or I message him Monday. And and then all of a sudden Tuesday, he's like, what are we doing again? (laughs) This time, I did not message, message him at all. And all of a sudden, randomly, last night while I was at work, I got... Well, they can read the title. We're doing TMNT pizzas, right? And I'm like, and of course you remember this one. Yeah, I'm just as shocked as you. Uh, just, I mean, this is everything that uh, a Johnny needs. It's Ninja Turtles and it's pizza. Like the two greatest things in the world. Because uh, where did I go? Like Turtlepedia or something like that? 
Yes. So we're going to be ranking these. There's 28 wacky pizza combinations. And- All right. Just, yeah, just so people know, uh, the original animated Ninja Turtles series, the one that Andrew and I grew up with, mm-hmm. they would always, the Turtles, of course, famously love pizza, but they would always on the show, like, have the weirdest combination of toppings for their pizzas. And uh, I remember. Oh, in one of the either a documentary or one of the books that I've read about Ninja Turtles, that the writers would have fun just trying to come up with the, the weirdest, wildest, grossest <laughs> uh, pizzas they could think of. So I'm very excited to do this. There are some uh, very interesting pizzas on this list. Yeah, I did not like look through all of them because I don't want to. I don't know what is it contaminate. You didn't want to know ahead of time. Yeah. You know? But I just went to the website, I copied everything, put it into Excel, and then put them into this random thing, because they're going to come up randomly, and we are going to blind rank these 1 through 28 plus, maybe give them a little score if we would actually eat them as well. Yeah, yeah. Very excited for this. Let's see how many of these pizzas we need, Andrew. Okay. Here we go. Okay, from a splinter... Uh, vanishes strawberry surprise with anchovy sauce, and I like the little thing. The reason why Michelangelo was fired from his cooking show, I completely <laughs> forgot Michelangelo had a cooking show until I saw this. Yeah, uh, anchovy sauce loses me. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate anchovies, I'm not and a I fan, and I don't like strawberries either. Yeah, this is I like strawberries, do not like anchovies. Um, I would not try this, and this sounds incredibly gross. <laughs> um, I'm going to put this at 25. I'm going to go. I think the strawberries could help me a little bit, so I'm going to give us 22. I got a feeling these are going to get way worse. Yeah, that's why I'm going 25. I'm leaving my three spots. So you're going 22 for strawberry surprise. Yeah. Uh, pick another winner. Oh, there we go. Beneath the sky. <laughs> okay, uh, beneath these streets, granola and licorice. I saw licorice, and I knew Johnny was uh, out. Yeah, can not stand licorice. It I- is. The worst candy in existence. (laughs) You know what? I think I, if I was shooting by a pizza place, depending on the sauce and the cheese, I might actually say I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to put this at five. That's how high I'm going with it. Oh, good. Okay. The granola, I feel like could work. Right? Like maybe you can use that as a, as a, put that in a crust or something. Yeah. Like the granola doesn't bother me at all. The licorice though is a makes it a definite no for me. Uh I'm gonna give this this is a this is my twenty five. This is your twenty five? Yeah. So granola and licorice is Johnny's twenty five. I don't think it's uh, well, I like licorice. As long as it's not I, I, it, licorice is a divisive uh, a divisive candy. I like it as long as it's not um uh, black liquors from the big blowout pepperoni and hot fudge. Yeah, the Not big blowout. Lie, it would like you. I know where you're going with that. It would cause a big blowout. <laughs> but <laughs> I think this is my number four. And this, I would try this one. I would definitely try this one. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give us a. I think four is pretty good. I'm going to go four as well. I I really don't see because this is an actual pizza topping. Yeah, with hot fudge. Yeah, hot fudge. Is so you basically a, make it like a pizza sundae in a way with pepperoni. Yeah. So either way, it's unnatural, but it doesn't sound as horrible as strawberry surprise. No, it does not. 
Here is our next pizza. We have jelly beans and mushrooms. Didn't I didn't get a show title for this one, but jelly beans and mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think mushrooms are also a divisive thing on pizza. Are you pro or con um, mushrooms on pizza? I love mushrooms. Like my favorite, three favorite pizza toppings that I love together are mushrooms, black olives, and sausage. I, I do not like black olives. I love sausage on a pizza. It's usually my go-to pizza topping. Uh, I will say, mushrooms by themselves, I do not like. You put them on a pizza, I like it. <laughs> okay, I, I respect that because my wife does not like onions, but she likes funyuns. <laughs> yeah uh i and uh, i'm one of those guys who loves jelly beans so i'm not big on jelly beans unless it's like the starburst ones that's why i'm gonna oh them. those are the best ones i agree gonna, with you there this is gonna be my number six uh i'll i'll go seven for this one for me do you think i would i would i would try this one though just out of curiosity do you think the turtles were under the influence, say when they were coming up with these combinations. Well, everything <laughs> now that we're a little bit older. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> Calbunga. There's not much to do in a sewer. Uh, from green with jealousy, peanut butter and clams. <laughs> it's so, so awful. I don't mind clams, and I love peanut butter. Like I eat peanut butter on my eggs. I like peanut like butter. Like scrambled eggs. Yeah. I got to put that. I've on. never heard of that, but I mean, I like peanut butter on an apple. You ever done that? That's good. Yeah. That's uh, good I'm, stuff. I do peanut butter in my oatmeal. Uh, I like peanut butter a lot. Uh, most of the chocolate candies I like involve peanut butter. So I'm a peanut butter guy. I am not a clam guy. I don't mind. Uh, clams I can do without. They- but... I kind of feel like the peanut butter would uh, sort of mask most of the clam taste to me. Yeah, peanut butter. Peanut butter can be a fairly strong flavor. Yeah, I put it on my scrambled eggs. Comes out pretty good. The boy that the kid that lives down the hall for me does that as well too. Hmm. AKA my son because I can't remember his name. I couldn't remember my daughter's name the other day. I kept on. Snapping my fingers and pointing at her, going to my wife, what's that girl's name? Well, she deserves that after after the review she gave us. Yeah, well, she's 17. You tell her <laughs> she's dead to me. <laughs> uh, Jacoby stuck up for us. Oh, well, that's why he's my favorite. Yeah, Jacoby. You tell him, you tell him he's my favorite, and she's uh, at the bottom of the barrel for me right now. This guy, they don't know. You tell him that I said this. Uh, I... <laughs> I would. I think I would try this, but I don't think I would. There's any chance I would like it. <laughs> uh, I don't think the the other thing too is like the ones in my top so far. I would try, but I would not yeah. pay for. Oh, I wouldn't pay for any of these. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is hard. I want to put it at four because I really love peanut butter, but then I'm also thinking ten. I'm going seventeen for me. <laughs> Keep in mind, we're all doing this blind. I don't know what any of these coming up are, and I don't. So I'm, I'm gonna, banking that there's going to be much better choices up the road. I'm going to go ten, and hopefully, like you said, there's better choices. Yeah, it's the clams that got me from pizza by shred. Peanut butter and anchovy with our no, avocado. Oh, avocado. Sorry, I can't read today either. With extra pickles. I'm going to put this. Mm. It's going to be a this, creamy pizza. This just sounds like it would be a uh, snack, like a almost like an afternoon snack after school. It sounds pizza. like something like some Japanese snack that you would find. Like yeah, at some like store. Uh, I'm gonna put. You know what? This is gonna be my number three. Um, the pickles are throwing me off. I don't think the pickles would go with this very well. <laughs> I would still give it a try. 
I I would still I would still try it due to the peanut butter, and just out of curiosity how the avocado would go with that. Uh, this is going to be eleven for me. Okay, I don't think avocado has that much of a taste. In no, like to me, it, it, it's more of like a a flavor addition type of thing, right? Yeah. It's a very, like I said, kind of like a creamy thing. Like it makes, like if you put it on a sandwich, it's not as dry. Yeah. I love how serious we're taking this. <laughs> oh, Leatherhead meets the Rat King. Chocolate sprinkles and clam sauce. Uh, what's, um, what's clam sauce? <laughs> I don't eat much. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right, clam sauce sounds oh. awful. Chocolate sprinkles obviously sounds just fine. Uh, uh, I'm putting this at 26. Yeah, uh, clam sauce I don't like. Uh, I'll give this a 24. But I would not try this. Because this is not... I just don't see the... Okay, chocolate sprinkles, whatever. We're going for maybe for a dessert pizza. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you get to the clam sauce. And I don't, I like clams, but I don't want a sauce. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Oh, I'm with you. Uh, making the metalhead tea and toast. Uh, it sounds fine to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay with I this. I like tea. I mean, I'm in the South. It has to be sweet tea for me, but I do like tea. <laughs> like just tea leaves? Yeah, how are they doing this? That's a good question. <laughs> I would assume it's like a tea flavor and like the crust is, is like toasted bread. Right? I think you're going way into this. I think they're just throwing the shit on top. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, Michelangelo is a chef. <laughs> He's a connoisseur of, gonna, of this stuff. This is going to be by seven. I, I, I would try this out of sheer curiosity. Uh, I'll give this five. I think this makes my top five. Five. Is it a? It's a breakfast pizza. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Got Babish over here with Johnny making these things in his head. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the crust. I've never taken any subject we've done as seriously as I'm taking this one. Uh, uh-oh. Let I did, I hate broccoli. It's, it's once upon a time machine, and it's a broccoli pizza. This probably exists, right? Uh, Probably does. Once upon a time machine... It cut off. How did it cut off? Yeah, but it's broccoli. Uh, where are we at? Once upon, it just says broccoli. Maybe it's just a broccoli pizza. Oh man, how did it cut? It cut off. I don't, don't want to see these. I don't want to see these. I'm not looking. Oh yeah. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> well, if it's just broccoli, there's got to be something else with it. I should have double checked this, but um, but let's just go with broccoli. It's what it says. I'm going to put this as one. I hate broccoli with a passion. <laughs> okay. See, I hated broccoli, but there's this little place in Niagara Falls called DiCamello's, and they make the best broccoli pizza. Like, even as a kid, I would be like, can I have broccoli pizza? This uh, makes no sense to me. 26. <laughs> <laughs> I love it how... Just makes no sense to you. <laughs> <laughs> Why you would do this to a pizza is beyond me. It's really good. I ask Matt. I'm pretty sure Matt's probably eaten the uh De Camello's broccoli pizza. All right. Uh slash the evil turtle from Dimension S. Why are we going with so much jelly beans and sausage? All right, this is number one for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love jelly beans. I love sausage. Uh, sign me up. I love it how you're just right there with this one. Yeah. This one's all me. I love this. I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to make the executive decision that it will be Starburst jelly beans with sausage. And this will be probably one of the greatest, weirdest 
uh, flavor combinations of all pizza dumb that would work. I'm going to go eight because I'm trying to hold out for my number two spot. And I have a feeling this is going to be really bad for me. <laughs> You're going to miss out. That should have been your number one. Uh, next one, Return of the Shredder. Caramel and hot and a chocolate fudge. So it's a dessert pizza. This is my number two. Yeah, this sounds like a great dessert pizza to me. Yeah, um, this is my number two. Uh, I'll make this my number three. This sounds like it should be pretty good. Definitely would try this one. Caramel or caramel? I always say caramel, but I'm also from the South, so. Oh, yeah. So how I pronounce things should not be what everybody goes by. I uh, I get made fun of at work because I say um, pecan. Oh, I said a pecan? Yeah. So whenever, to piss them off, the one guy that I work with, his grandparents own like a pecan, pecan farm. Yeah. So whenever he's saying like, oh, I'm going to my grandparents and we're going to get like pecans or something, I always go, it's pronounced pecan. Yeah, I always say pe- I say pecan as well. Just saying. Oh, do you? Yeah. Us Northerners have uh, really <laughs> laid an impact on you. Or other way around, maybe you don't know. Yeah. Ah, uh, the they shrunk Michelangelo peanut butter and salami with double yogurt topping. This is my number nine. I, <laughs> I, I. The salami might be a little weird. What flavors the yogurt? It doesn't say. I'm just thinking vanilla. <laughs> vanilla Johnny, you're yogurt. breathing into this way too much. The flavor of yogurt matters. <laughs> I'm thinking because they just said yogurt. It's like the big tub of like vanilla yogurt that you could buy. I like peanut butter. Salami is fine with me. Certain flavors of yogurt I do enjoy. I'm going to say I would try this, depending upon, again, the flavor of said yogurt. Uh, What did you give this for you? Uh, I put this my number nine. So my top ten is actually complete. I'm going to go six for me. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny has not worked any harder on anything. This is hurting my brain. <laughs> I think this is worse than the Santa one for him. Yes. <laughs> the Santa one I uh, still haunts me to this day. I wonder oh. if this man with the broccoli. Damn. This Peanut butter cool. and grape jelly. Yeah, this Love this. Good. My number 11. Love this. I am a big peanut butter and jelly sandwich guy. So this works for me. This is probably, this has to have been a pizza. Somebody's definitely tried this pizza, right? Yeah. I'm guessing. They make uh, they make chicken wings. Or they make grape jelly chicken wings or something. I don't know. No, I think you're right. A peanut butter and jelly chicken wing. I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, this is number, uh, an, oh yeah, I'll give this number two for me. There you go. I should have made sure these read out a little bit better, but it's kind of fun this way. Man, oh man, that don't sound too bad, to be honest with you. No, it doesn't. It's a good thing I ate before this. (laughs) Yeah, same here. Yeah. The gang's all here. Chocolate chip. And it's Michael Angelo's least favorite. Though so because it's kind of normal. (laughs) That's probably why it's his least favorite. Yeah, I'm going to go 12 because that's the highest spot I have available. Yeah, I this just sounds like another dessert pizza to me. Uh, I'll go 8. That's my highest place available for me. I can't believe that's why Michelangelo is like my third favorite turtle. Not gonna lie. I was uh Leonardo and Donatello all the way. From- uh, I'm a I'm a Raphael on the streets and a Michelangelo in the sheets. 
That's a t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> Holly wanted pizza, anchovies, and bananas. I banana bananas. I think would work, but I do not like anchovies. That's this really throwing us off. My twenty-seven, because I literally hate anchovies. Yeah, I can't stand anchovies myself. Uh, I'll go twenty-six for this. Sure, you have it. You had broccoli at twenty-six. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. I didn't see. I'm writing these numbers down. I didn't even see it. It's right there in front of me. Uh, I'll go twenty-seven, man. Yep. Okay. I gotta like. I'm glad you're keeping that because I'm just writing down the number that I said, <laughs> so I don't repeat my, the same number. My anchovy experience, my first one is, I found horrible because my dad ordered pizza and obviously got a pizza for my brother and I. Yeah, ordered a pizza for himself, and he was a big fan of anchovies. So I took a bite of the anchovy pizza, like thinking all pizzas are the same. No, and it was the most. It was just <laughs> it was hairy and salty and absolutely disgusting. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, April Fool pepperoni and marshmallow. I'm going thirteen. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of marshmallow. I like both these things. What's my highest number I have available here? Nine? Yes. I'll go nine on that one. Not a fan of marshmallow anymore. I don't know. I just think it's weird, but I would eat this. (laughs) I don't know what happened to me if i was a kid i would eat tons of marshmallows but no not so much i like them in my cereal yes this had to be something else <laughs> it just says, it says, and sausage uh, can i read place my number one that's my favorite type of pizza is sausage let's uh let's pick another one all right that one would not count <laughs> yeah gotta have Raisin Bran. <laughs> I just said cereal. I like Raisin Bran cereal. Did I really just have one that just said Raisin Bran? That's probably one they did. Oh, okay. So this is from Enter the Shredder. Oh, they did three different ones. Yeah. It's a breakfast cereals. Cornflakes, Raisin Bran, and Cocoa Puffs. Oh my I, re- I-, I remember this. Yeah. I uh, you can either get a cornflakes pizza, a raisin bran pizza, or a cocoa puffs pizza. Well, I guess let's just say cereal pizza in general, right? Yeah, I would. Eat. A, cere- a cereal pizza in general meals, right? <laughs> I would eat this. This is going uh, number fourteen. All right, let's okay. Let's say this: if your perfect breakfast cereal pizza would be what? What what cereal would you want? I think a cinnamon toast crunch pizza would work. I I think like a honey nut Cheerios. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Honey bunches of oats type. Yeah. Thing. I'm a big fan of mixing cereals. Oh, I understand that, yeah. I've I've been that way since I was a kid. So Yeah, you're a scientist. I get it. Uh what's my next to the highest available number? I'll give it that. Uh, ten. Ten. Yep, this will be ten for me. Okay. I'm glad I dropped down on that one. Pick another winner. And here we go. Didn't we do anchovies and peanut butter? We did, yes. Oh, no, it was anchovies and bananas. Oh, this is a different... Okay. Still a no. (laughs) That anchovies is a big no for me. Uh, I'll go... I'll go 28. Trying to see something here. Where is this? Toward the bottom. Probably want a pizza. No, that was bananas. This is peanut butter. Oh, there's so many anchovies on these dang things. Yeah, why do they keep on working the anchovies thing? Oh, because I know it's one of the things that's literally one of the most divisive pizza toppings of all time. Turtle tracks. Pepperoni, ice cream, jelly beans. Oh, this is where the jelly beans and mushroom comes from. Pepperoni, 
ice cream, jelly beans, mushrooms, anchovies, and peanut butter, whipped cream, sashimi, bananas, and sausage. We did bananas and sausage because I remember saying I would like that. Yeah. I don't want any of this on a pizza. Pepperoni and ice cream, I think I'd be fine with. I would try. I don't know if it'd be good. I don't think I want any of this, Johnny. I'm really scared of this one. This you, is, don't want any, you don't want this, this is smoke? My, th- this is my bottom one, and I'm just writing it down turtle tracks. This is number 28 because I don't see any of this being good. I don't think any of it's going to be good, but some of them are better than the others. Uh, but if we're just doing uh, the the fact that anchovies is remotely involved, though, yeah, I would have turns put, my stomach. <laughs> I would have put it at twenty eight, no matter what. Yeah. Where do you want to put this one? I thought I already did put it at twenty eight, didn't I? Oh, did it? I, I think so. Yeah. Just gonna draw a line over. <laughs> I hate anchovies. I do too. Attack of the fifty foot Irma. What a great I rem- show. I That's remember this episode. <laughs> that was a great episode. It was. How come do I feel like most TV shows and stuff don't really have titles anymore? Or they oh, don't right, really yeah. display them like Ninja Turtles and like the cartoons did. Yeah, like after the theme song, it would just display one of the turtles in the bottom corner and have the title of the episode. Yeah. yeah. I kind of miss that. I do too. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I chocolate fudge. I'm totally fine with garlic. Is throwing me off though. This is gonna be my 17. I don't mind garlic, but I don't know if I want extra garlic with my chocolate fudge. Yeah, I'll go 20. I would still try it, but I'm already knowing I'm not gonna like it. I'm glad you're taking extensive notes. Yeah. Uh, my spelling's horrible because I'm just trying to write as fast as possible. <laughs> as long as you can read it, know what you're writing. That's, what's, that's what matters. The problem is, is I won't. <laughs> Mushrooms and arugulas? I don't know if I've ever had an arugula. I don't think I have either. It sounds like what an old Tommy horn on a car would sound like. Arugula. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So it's, oh, this is what the pepperoni and pickles one. It's from a Superhero for a Day. Who is Superhero for a Day? Was that Irma? I don't know. I feel like all the turtles have been a superhero at some point. What, Michelangelo one? I think I think it was Michelangelo. Now I got to look up this episode. Uh, I want to look up what Sorry, Arugula Johnny. is. Sorry. <laughs> but I got to look up. Uh, oh, Arugula is... Uh... Isn't it like a lettuce type thing yeah it is it's a cousin of broccoli kale and cabbage oh this guy was superhero for a day are they gonna show the picture it was some random guy gadget man oh yes (laughs) yes and i think he kept messing up right i'm thinking of this one right yeah Gadget man, yeah. former hero who used to be in the gadgets. Oh man, hey, 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 go back up, scroll back up for a second. Uh, go down, stop <laughs> oh right there. Stop right there. At this. stop right there. Uh, third paragraph The TMT are in the sewer lair when April calls them via her turtle comm and tells them that Shredder has been seen at the power plant. The dude's gonna be in WCW. <laughs> That makes sense because Kevin Nash was there. <laughs> and who was Kevin Nash? Super Shredder. Connect wow. the dots, Andrew. Connect the dots. <laughs> You're digging hard. <laughs> uh, it all makes sense. Let's see. Mushrooms and arugula. I just want to. This is just like. This is 15. <laughs> put my face on Charlie's face where from always sunny and he's got the, all the lines drawn in the background. From pictures to pictures, trying to figure out the case. Trying to figure out. <laughs> There's connections here to Shredder and WCW and the well, power plant. 
if you make if you make sense, maybe the toxic turtles try to get into WCW. There we go. Yeah. All right, uh, I put this at fifteen. I couldn't even remember where I put this at. I I just don't know what if I like arugula. I have no idea. I don't think I've ever tried it. Um. So I would try this just out of sheer curiosity. Mm-hmm. I'll give this eighteen. Eighteen. This would be a great. I gotta do this for. Because I do like. I mean, I like salads and stuff. So maybe I'll like that. I don't know. I gotta do this for like a question for the Facebook. Like, yeah. make make your weirdest Ninja Turtle pizza that you would like that you would yeah. try. Oh no! Out! I'm out! Totally out! Turtle, <laughs> a thousand faces. Tuna Tuna fish. Fish. Wait a minute, I'm gonna find out what else this is. Uh, maybe I'm not. Turtle tracks. Where this came out of nowhere? <laughs> it looks like it did. Turtle of a thousand faces. I can't even find it. This probably has been a real pizza too, by the way. Tuna fish. I bet somebody's done that. You know, chicken of the sea. Tuna fish. I would eat it. I'm gonna put it at 17. Or sorry, 16. I, I do not like I don't like tuna. So uh this maybe will be like, maybe it's like ahi tuna. Oh yeah. I go uh, twenty three for me. Twenty three, and me, yeah. You can tune a piano. <laughs> what am I doing? Did we just do superhero for a day? We did, yeah, because we looked up who that was. It was Gadget Man. Oh, because we already did the other one. Yeah, Gadget Man. You know. What is that? Just sardine? That's a 24. We're just going to go on that one. Yeah, I don't like uh, sardines at all. Whatever my highest number left is, is that. Uh, 21. All right, that works. I don't like him, but he's legal. 21. A great. <laughs> a great episode where it's a former superhero going with another superhero is the Grey Ghost from Batman. Yes. To the point where I wanted to name uh, the family cat that when I was younger. My mom wouldn't do that because we had a great cat. Oh, can I name it the great ghost? Yeah, because of that episode. The great Adam West voice. We got to do that. Well, ranking Batman animated series episodes? Yes. No, just, oh, or finding the top 10 like we did with. Yes, I'm on board for this. Yep. Okay. Write that down for later. All right. <laughs> Chili pepper with plenty of whipped cream. Uh, I don't like hot things, but I think the whipped cream would be kind of cooling. I'm going to go 20. Yeah, I think it would make it more of a mild taste, right? Because they're kind of working against each other. I don't, I would try it. I also don't like hot stuff either, <laughs> unless I'm talking about myself. <laughs> uh, but I would not try this, I don't think. Your highest that you have not, or your lowest that you have not used as 19. All right, that sounds good. That works for me. Okay. I could see Trevor doing the cardboard kitchen and yeah. this stuff. Or trying it. He'd at least try this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, we already did that one. Yep. Cocoa Puffs. Didn't we do anchovy and hot fudge? I feel like we did. But there's we've seen anchovy a lot, so that might be throwing us off. Oh, well, I skipped it. <laughs> uh, Nightmare in the Lair. Great name for an episode, by the way. Is this like a... Oh, yeah, it just says popcorn. Oh, yeah, I would try that, right? Yeah, it's only popcorn. There's, there's, there's like pizza-flavored popcorn. Now, would you... Could you pop the popcorn on the pizza? Oh, or I think you have, have to, to pop it first, right? Yeah, 
free popcorn pizza. I'm yeah, put this at eighteen. Um, I'm going to go fifteen. I think I still have fifteen left. Uh, yeah. Yep. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Nitty gritty. Leonardo versus the Tempestra. Tempestra? Tempestra. Why is that so hard to say? (laughs) I don't know. Shredded coconut with sweet pickle. That doesn't sound bad. It doesn't sound good either. But it's Leonardo's favorite. I'm going to put 19. I think that's why you're giving it more of a pass, (laughs) which I get. If this was Raphael's favorite, I would do the same. So, um, I like some coconut. I don't like a lot of coconut. Does that make sense? Like if I have coconut, I want it to be with another flavor. I don't like coconut by itself. Like uh, I we went over this with um, which is why the almond candy. joy is better than the mounds. Yes, we yeah. went over this yeah. with the almond joy and mounds. Yeah, the almond <laughs> really helps it. So I don't think I would like this. Whatever my next highest number left is is what I want for this one. You're gonna go sixteen. Yeah. I think you're putting it low because of Leo. Leo's my second favorite turtle, so I don't want to hear that. (laughs) No slander over here. Yeah, we're definitely doing that Batman thing. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Here we go. I like this one. Or this this episode. I don't, yeah. I don't even read the thing, but uh, yeah, I like this episode too. Uh Super Bebop and Whitey Rock Study. Pickled herring, caramel caramel fudge topping. Um, have you ever had pickled herring? No. Okay. It's disgusting. I dated a Polish girl and they would eat it and it is horrible. And that's why it's going number twenty three, which is the lowest possible I can. <laughs> It was one of those things where I tried it because I know I get it. Yeah, they were like making fun of me that I wouldn't do it, and I was like, "Yeah, just give me a little piece." And I ate it, and it was disgusting. It doesn't sound good. I've never wanted to try it. I know that much. No, I never no. once sought it out. <laughs> it's not an impulse buy at the grocery store. No, not at all. Uh, I'm with whatever my next highest number is for this is or low it. What are the worst rating I can give this? 14. <laughs> yeah, that works. Yeah, it was... I guess it's a tradition to eat it on Easter? I mean, that's... You know, everybody has traditions. I ain't going to knock that, but uh, just not for <laughs> All right, this is number one. I'm going to redo my number one. <laughs> going to eat Rampay on. Yeah. I really got to redo this stuff. <laughs> It just said Raphael, just for those listening. It literally just said Tom and Pizza at Raphael. Funny. <laughs> yeah, it's just describing me. <laughs> Would you eat Johnny on your pizza? <laughs> yes, it'd be delicious. Turtles on the Oriental. If I was a pizza, would I eat myself? Yes. <laughs> goulash. I Have was... you had goulash? Yes, my mother used to make it. What What's in a goulash to remind me? Okay, so... We were poor, so our goulash may be a little bit different than everybody else. Uh, do you remember the electric skillet? Did your mother have the electric skillet? Um, I believe my grandma did. It's like that square thing, and you it's kind of like a griddle in a way, like an electric Yes, griddle. yes, I know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah. so she would just put a sauce and elbow macaroni and then lay like four pieces of American cheese on it. And that was our goulash. But it got to the point where we ate it so much that my brother and I would eat really fast so we could get the pieces with the cheese on it. So it would get that like. Oh, I've had this. Yeah. 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 I don't know what normal goulash looks like. I can only tell you what. I don't think yours is that far off. Okay. I don't think it is because I had a friend come over and he said it was pretty good because I was like, oh, we're eating goulash. And this yeah. kid was a 
he was a pretty well off child, but he, he actually, was a, he was a Brian. Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can mention Brian at least once an episode because yeah, we got to. <laughs> And the sad thing is, people are probably like, they really hate this guy. We don't hate Brian. No, bro, I gener- generally think very highly of Brian. I like Brian a lot. We don't. I c- I consider him a good friend. Uh, that's why we can joke like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah um, I would definitely try this, whatever my best number is, because I do think I like goulash. And whatever your mother made sounds awesome to me. I would try that 100%. Yeah, we so, would just fight over the piece with the <clears throat> American cheese on it. So whichever, whatever my best number left is. Uh, that this. was number 12. So this right, is that... actually the final one, unless we get some like weird word. Yeah, unless we get... Uh... <laughs> Case? Ah, uh, it's so close to being good. <laughs> of the hot kimono. Uh, butterscotch and onions and anchovies. Yeah, this is 22. This is my final spot. Yeah, well, I don't know what number I've left, but it, it obviously gets this. Um... This is your number 13. Way too high. <laughs> way too. It needs to be way, way worse. It's got to be like in the 20s if I could redo this. Uh, all right. So I'm just going to do top 10. Yeah. So we got for Johnny's top 10 is jelly beans and sausage. Number two is peanut butter and grape jelly. Number three is Caramel and chocolate fudge. Uh, four is pepperoni and hot fudge. Five is tea and toast. And then we got the peanut butter salami and yogurt at number six. Number seven is jelly beans and mushrooms. Eight is chocolate chip. Nine is popcorn or I'm sorry, pepperoni and mushrooms. See, that's the thing where I can't read. And number 10 is the cereals one. That don't sound too bad. No. Which one of those uh, would you eat, like, right now? The first one, the I would try the jelly beans and pepper, uh, sausage ones, for sure. Yeah. Uh, my biggest regret is how high that last one went, because it's my last space left. I would put all the anchovies ones to the last, to the last spot. Anchovies <laughs> has to be the worst pizza topping ever. Yeah, agreed. So my top ten is broccoli, uh, the caramel with chocolate fudge number three is peanut butter avocado with extra pickles johnny's wincing at that one number four is pepperoni and hot fudge five is granola and licorice six is jelly beans and mushrooms seven is tea and toast eight is jelly beans and sausage nine is uh peanut butter salami and yogurt and ten is peanut butter and clams i think either way we're not gonna be feeling well no, well, after we eat any of these, I would eat some Tiki Mello's broccoli pizza right now. Um, I get oh, it, you like that pizza, <laughs> <laughs> so good. Just just message Matt and be like, Matt, tell me that me. pizza can rot in hell. <laughs> yeah, just, just message him and say, Tell me about the Tiki Mello's broccoli pizza. And he would, you know what, I'm gonna do it for you. I'm just gonna go right to the group message when we're done. You'll have to because I'll just pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the broccoli pizza, uh, I think I'd go with pepperoni and hot fudge. That one intrigues me. So kind of, actually, it's a tie between the pepperoni and hot fudge and the peanut butter and avocado and extra pickles. Yeah. Well, what about you listening? Uh, which one of those would you like? Would you actually try? Which one do you think is out of the worst, the grossest? As I'm watching Andrew do Google search. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was preparing something like I said for me. <laughs> Trying to save you for just some... in case you're going to put in something, you know, you didn't want me to know. <laughs> oh, now, okay. So this was interesting. For Mute Mayhem, they did come out with uh, the frozen pizzas. Did you see that? I wanted to bring that up now that I actually I don't remember. So you can get Mute Mayhem frozen pizzas and they're all normal pizza flavor. Oh, yes. Yes. I try. I I do remember uh, wanting to get one to try it, but I don't think I could ever find any in. They were pretty good. 
Now, the weirdest one out of them is the Mac attack with macaroni and cheese on it. Which isn't even that weird, because that seems like a common pizza type meal. Yeah. I think the Ninja Turtles have opened up people's palates. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lasting positive impact of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think that society. Yeah. I think they were like, hey, open up your palates. And uh, as I look for a good picture to use later on. But uh, that is that is it. <laughs> Can't remember what we got coming up next week because we've had so many changes. Yeah, at some point it'll be Batman episodes. <laughs> yeah, I think that's like way down the line because we're pretty well. Where are we going? Are we in March still? Yes, we are. Yes. Uh, so I'm not even sure. Oh, we're doing Little Rascals. It's the end of the month. Oh, the movie? Yeah, let me just make sure that's streaming still. Yeah, you might. Well, yeah, the one with but, Reba McIntyre. Yes. <laughs> That's not watching it. Um, <laughs> but while I look this up, you guys can also look up the Nostalgia Funhouse wherever you get your podcast, uh, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, where else are we on? You know, we have a Patreon as well. So yeah, check all those out. Help us to finally afford the Ghost of Mr. Chicken. We'd appreciate a great deal. Give us, give us a five star review on wherever you listen to this. We'd appreciate that also a great deal. It is streaming on Peacock. Okay, good, good, For good. <laughs> Make sure it's the movie and not the original show. No, I looked up the movie. Okay, all right. It's You'll never believe this. So I looked this up, just a little preview. Because, okay, The Little Rascals, okay, you know, it says it. It's a minute. It's only a minute and or an hour and 20, 23 minutes. So good. It's in 1994, but it's a comedy slash thriller. Thriller? <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> All right, I'm prepared. I don't remember being that thrilling when I watched it when I was younger. It's comedy. As I slobber on myself. Uh, really looking forward to it. I remember liking this movie as a kid. And spoiler alert, my mom's a giant Reba McIntyre fan. So anytime she was in a movie, we were going to watch it. And I like this one from as a kid, but I have not seen this movie in a long, long, long time. So I'm very uh, shocked. But I will also bring to you some Little Rascals trivia. Uh, because the the original Little Rascals was one of those shows I'd watch with my grandma. So uh, it's, I got some very fun memories of it. Uh, and the guy who was the original Alfalfa had a, quite a wild life. <laughs> I'll just say that. Yeah, he did. I heard about him. Yeah. So we'll, we'll be talking about that next episode. So fingers crossed that next week we can still be able to watch Little Rascals. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we have a history of literally the week before whatever we were going to watch not be streaming anymore. So we'll see how this goes. So with that being said, what may not be nostalgia for you may be nostalgia for some. Shell yeah.